In this picture, I'm going to ask you to name the things that I'm pointing at. This is a... It's a horse. What is this part of the horse called? The mane. And this part here... The hoof. What kind of tree is this? It's an oak tree. This gentleman here is an ancient Greek and he's giving a speech. What would we call him? An orator. And what do we find in this corner here? Fruits and vegetables. In this picture we have various things. Here we have some bees, and so this here must be what? A beehive. What is this structure here in the middle? A tent. And a very fancy tent is called a pavilion. What do we have here in the corner? A nest. And what is this structure here? This is a cottage, or possibly we can call it a hut. And what do we have here? A house or a mansion. In the center of this picture, we have something. What is this thing called? It's a sheaf. And what is tied up? In the sheaf, wheat or maybe oats or barley or rye. What do we have here in the top left corner? A wheat field. And what kind of plants might these be with the red petals? Poppies. And what do we call this here on the bottom right? This is a This is a meadow on the bottom right. And what do we find here on the left? Steep hills. Right, what do we find here on the right hand side? Loaves of bread. What's the outside part of the bread called? The crust. And the inside part, what is that called? The soft part on the inside? It's called the crumb. Here we have some baked goods. Some of them are covered over the top. What do we call these ones here? They have stuff inside them like meat. These are called pies. And when they are open, like this one here, which has got jam in the middle, what do we call it? We call it a tart. What fruit are these in the middle here? These are cherries. And on the left hand side these are pears. And on the right hand side we have various kinds of fruit. In the middle of this picture, what do we see here? This is a, a bucket. And what do we have on the right hand side? A bunch of grapes. And on the left hand side we have what? A barrel. The grapes grow where? They're growing here on the hillside. What do we call the place where the grapes grow? A vineyard. What kind of trees are these? They're very tall and thin. They are called? Poplar trees. Here we have something. What is this called? A bridge. And what is this called here? This part of the bridge. This is called a, a span. And this bridge has got one, two, three spans. 
What is this here on the right hand side? A well. What do we call this here at the top of the well that the rope goes over? This is called a it's called a pulley. And what is this here called that I'm indicating with the mouse now? This is called a a column. What is this here on the bottom right? This is a street lamp. And what is this here across the river? It's made of wood and behind it there is a pond. This is a small weir or dam. And what kind of animal is this in the bottom left? This is simply a bird. In the center of this picture, it's green and it has two buttons on the back. What is it? It is a it's a frock coat. And here we have a fur, very tall fur hat. On the right hand side, what do you think we might have here? It lives in water. It's got a scaly tail. It's a beaver. And what are these here on the right hand side? gloves and on the left hand side you use these when the water in the pond is totally frozen and you put them on your shoes what do we call these these are ice skates or skates they've got a metal blade at the bottom here in the center of this picture we have some houses a tower and there's water all around it. This is called an island. Here we have a box with a needle that changes direction and this needle in the box is called a compass. And here we have a great big wheel being turned by the water. This is, what is this thing called? This is a, a mill, a flour mill. It's a water mill. What kind of ship is this on the left? This is a sailing ship. What is the front part of the ship called? It's called the prow. And what is this here that sticks out the front? I'm busy pointing at it now. This is the bowsprit. And what is this in the bottom left? This is an anchor. Here we have some animals. The top right we have, what is this animal here? This is a stag. What does a stag have on its head? Antlers. In the middle, there's a little funny animal eating an acorn. It's got a bushy tail. This is a, a squirrel. And on the left hand side, we have the female of the species. What is it? This is a a deer. The bottom left, a very sly and cunning animal. This is a, a fox. And on the bottom right, very wild animal. It's got sharp tusks. A wild boar. And what is this here? It used to be a tree, but it's just the part that's left. This is called a stump. In the center of this picture, what kind of animal is this? This is a goose. And on the top right, what is this one? These are hens or chickens. And on the left hand side, this ugly bird, what may this be? This is a turkey. And on the bottom left, is a fish. And on the bottom right, what is this? This is a crayfish or possibly you might want to call it a lobster. And when it's cooked, it goes very red in color. What little animal is this? This is a mouse. And on the right hand side, what is this thing here? This is a drum. And what are these? There are two types of them here. 
we have walnuts here and an almond here and this looks like it could be a hazelnut at the back what is this here this long stick in the middle with a sharp end what is this this is a pike and what is hanging from the pike a flag or a standard and what we find here in the bottom left this is a basket it's a wicker basket wicker basket the top left we have a very small bunch of flowers and what do we call a very small bunch of flowers like this we call it a posy what animal is this on the left hand side it's running very fast as fast as a as fast as a hare here we have something what is this called this is a monument set up in memory of someone usually and what do we have here we have a window with curtains around it what do we call this red part at the top of the curtains that is called the pelmet what is this here in the center that I'm pointing at now this kind of knife is called a sickle it's used for cutting wheat and what piece of equipment is this here this is a plow the blades of the plow are here and it's drawn by oxen or horses what is this on the bottom left this is an axe or a hatchet which is a small axe and what is this a saw for sawing timber and this wheel here what is this a spinning wheel what piece of equipment is this in the top left a spade and this here on the top right a watering can and this here in the middle a mattock what kind of plant is this in the bottom left this is a pineapple and on the bottom right you can see the plant here and you dig out the ground and you get these round things and we roast them in the oven and eat them with chicken and these are called potatoes here we have a traveler what does he have in his hand he has a walking stick in his hand and what is he wearing on his back he's wearing a rucksack what kind of thing is this in the middle here this is a pistol and what is this we use it for walking with this is called a cane and this bag here at the bottom right is what kind of bag this is called a duffel bag and the person that goes walking or hiking walks in what part of the world what do we call this where there are trees and plants and a meadow this is called the the countryside what kind of trees are these ones here these are pine trees and the part of the tree here that's just left standing after the rest of it's gone is called what the stump of the tree here we have a piece of equipment used for blowing air at a fire and you pump it up and down and the air blows out this is called a pair of bellows what is this on the right hand side this is a windmill what are these parts of the windmill called that I'm pointing at these are called the sails of the windmill what kind of animal is this a butterfly and what kind of animal is this the bottom left this is a snail 
On the right hand side we have a very small clock um, and there's a name for this small kind of clock. It's either called a mantle clock if it goes on the mantle of your fireplace, the shelf above your fireplace, or if it's even smaller it's called a carriage clock for carrying around. What kind of things are these? These are musical instruments. On the bottom right, this is called a harp. In the middle, what do we have? A pipe organ. The top left, what do we have? A French horn. The bottom left, what do we have? This could be a cello. If it's big, if it's small, it could be a violin. And in the top right, what do we have here? We appear to have some kind of flute. This man here is watching the sheep over here. And what is his job? He is a, he's a shepherd. And he gets very bored, so what's he doing? He is playing music on a musical instrument, on a pipe. What's this animal in the middle? A dog. And the one on the right here that's attacked and eaten this poor lamb, what is this? A wolf. And the shepherd, when he's out in the countryside, he lives in this. It's a house on wheels, and we call it a a caravan. And at the top left, what kind of animals are these? These are sheep. Right, here we have four types of things. What do we call these in general, all these four? They are vehicles. On the right hand side we have a carriage. On the left hand side, this is not a carriage, but a a stagecoach or coach. And the bottom left, what is this? It's not a carriage, it's not a coach, it is a, a wagon. And the bottom right, in the winter time when the ground is frozen, we use a sled or a sleigh. Right, in the middle, we have a very old version of something that you have in central London which is a great big wheel that goes round and round and round. It's a Ferris wheel. Um, and here, this part here would be turned, and the gear here would turn this, which would turn this cog, and you'd sit in these special chairs here, and we carry it around on the Ferris wheel as an entertainment. What kind of building is this here on the right-hand side? This is a tower. And what structure is this on the left-hand side? What do we call this? A column. What is the top part, top part of the column called? This is called the, I'm pointing at it now, the capital of the column. And what is the bottom part of the column called? The base of the column. What piece of equipment is this? This is a ladder. What do we call these parts that go across the ladder? Here. These are called the rungs of the ladder, the rungs. What is this here called, this blue part? This is called the banister, or also it's called the handrail. And what do we call all these stairs together? What do we call them? One, two, three, four, five stairs. This is a, a flight of stairs. Well, we have a few things here. This here isn't a person. What is it? It's a monkey dressed up for entertainment. And here we have an animal. They used to use these to keep people entertained and train them to dance. This is a dancing what? A dancing bear. Right? Here's a sign and it's pointing somewhere. So we, what, what do we call this? A signpost. And here's a musical instrument. It has a bag and it has pipes. And so what do we call this? This is used in Scotland bagpipes. And here we have a drum, but it's got rattles around the outside of it. What is this called, the special kind of drum? A tambourine. 
Here we have soldiers. What is this piece of equipment in the bottom left called? This is a gun or a cannon. What kind of gun is this on the bottom right? This is a musket and if it were more modern we'd call it a rifle. What is the sharp spear on top of the rifle called here in the middle of the picture? This is called the bayonet. This gentleman here is sitting on the horse. What is the part that he's sitting on called? It's not called a seat. It's got a special name. It's called the saddle. And when he's riding the horse, he holds these ropes. And what are they called? These are called the, the reins. And the part that's around the horse's head is called the bridle. And the part that's inside the horse's mouth, which is made out of metal, is called the the bit. Here we have examples of cities. This city here has got a wall around it and we have a general name for this kind of thing. This is called a, a fortification and here on the bottom left we have a structure. What is this structure called? This could be called a castle or possibly a fort. And what do we have here on the right hand side? Here we have an army camp or military camp. And on the left hand side we have a very small town. It's not a town, it's even smaller than that. What do we call it? A village. What do we call this thing here on top of the tower? I'm pointing at it. There's one here. There's one here as well. It points which way the wind is blowing. It's called a weathercock or a weather vane. A weathercock or a weather vane. Right here in the center we have a particular kind of flower. What is it? It's a rose. What do we call this? special bed that moves from side to side where the baby is lying. It's called a cradle. When you die you put into one of these. This is called a coffin. On the right hand side we have a temple and this tall structure is called what? It's called the steeple. And what is this here at the front? This is called the the porch. Here we have um, a place where people are buried and what is this called? A graveyard. Right? What do we call this thing here that's on someone's grave? This is a monument and here on this person's grave we have something else with words written on it. This is called a gravestone. On the right hand time side we have a gentleman here and what is he? He is a he's a hunter and what's he got underneath his arm? A rifle. What kind of tree is this? Here I'm pointing at it. This is a poplar tree and what kind of tree is this? This is a fir tree or a pine tree. And what kind of trees are these? These are oak trees. Here we have the man that looks after the garden and he is a, a gardener. What's he carrying in his hand here? A watering can. What kind of animal is this on the left hand side? It has a beard. This is a goat. Plants are grown inside here. It's got glass. This is called a greenhouse or a glass house. And this structure here has got birds living inside it. And this is called an aviary. Right, in the background we have some trees and a green field which is called a, a meadow. Well, in this picture we have um, 
a jug here which has water in it for washing your hands and this is called a laver also an ewer and this is the bowl here we have a, a bed what kind of bed is this it's a four poster bed what is this part on top of the bed called here I'm pointing at it this is the canopy and what is this soft cover called that you put over yourself this is called a duvet if it's made out of wool what do we call it a blanket and if it's got a decoration on it and we throw it over everything we call it a bedspread right this lady here has got a jug of very hot water and she's about to pour it into this container here and then someone's going to get into it it's a bath and on the left hand side we have a chair